All right, so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to explore the Explore tool. So, for example, um, here we are in just a, a Google uh, document, and we'll check it, uh, the Explore tool out in Google Docs. We'll check it out in Sheets. And just the same, we'll check it out a little bit in the Slides, which is almost the same thing as Google Docs. So let's say, for example, here we are, we're talking. This is one of the write-ups to one of my videos on uh, getting into college. So to find the Explore tool, this is what it looks like in the bottom right. Okay. You'll see right here it says Explore. So we're talking about colleges, I'm going to press this here. And um, okay, so Explore 2 is open. So let's say we want to look up uh, College Entry. Okay, and you can see here it'll immediately bring up some, uh, some web results from Google. Um, five things you need to know about college. So let's say you're using something, the information from here. Uh, check this thing out right here. It says cite as a footnote. So you can cite it as a footnote, but even before you do that, look at this. Select citation format. And this will probably, you know, this is something you want to know for the Google Certified Educator exam level two, right? So you pick which one you want. Let's just keep it in an MLA. And let's say you get, you know, you want to add a footnote here. Because this is where you got your information from. You press this little cite as footnote. It looks like two quotation marks. Click that. And you should now be able to see this little number one there. Okay. So the number one is there, and now if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, look, there's your beautiful footnote, okay? And all I got that was, was by clicking, uh, you know, the little citation mark. But um, Explore also goes to Images. Take a look here. Quickly add an image. Look how easy it is. Just add this little plus so you don't have to go out of, so this way you don't have to go out of the document and copy and save. You just add it right from there. And here's Brooklyn College. Um, and even you can look, you can even search within your own drive, right? So this is all stuff that has to do with count, accounting and things like that. So, you know, that's from Google Docs. If you go to Google Slides, so it's almost the same thing, right? So here we're talking about the student agency or something like that. Um, just the same. You can find the Explore tool down here. Explore. And, uh, you know, student agency. Click it in. And you can open this up, and it'll quickly take you to the article. Because maybe you don't know what student agency is, you want to read up on it. Here you are. It tells you a little bit. Close that up. Um, again, it's it's easy to, to add things from drives, images. And now let's just take a look. This is interesting, too. Let's take a look at Google Sheets. So th this is one from the Google Certified Educator exam. Um, so take a look. You have the Explore tool here. It's a little bit of a different color. But this thing will, will create some graphs and charts for you. And if you're doing the test, um, I would use the Explore tool. Maybe it will help you out a lot. So take a look here. Look what the Explore tool gives you. It gives you a pivot table. Right? Analysis, average score, population funding average this is great stuff okay ask it a question about your data type something in you know most here and look at this most frequent school what do they give you AIS six counts that's how many times it comes up so th so this this thing here um, the explore explore tool is great for Google Sheets really really good 